I wanted to show you what to do, how to get the concrete screeded and how to get it pretty close to being finished. And all I'm using is just a little block of wood. This is a little 2x3. One of the things I did to make it work out really well is I took a rough piece of sandpaper and I, I kind of rounded off these edges so that it's not sharp. But all you do is, is this, is I'm, I'm putting the end of the piece of 2x3 at the edge of the drain and the other end just sits on top of the form right here on the edge. And I just kind of sc scrape it along, making sure that any excess concrete, you know, does not go into the drain. So, you know, you can bring it up this way. Or, since we haven't filled this up here, you would naturally want to go this direction. So we could just do this. And if you angle the board like this, it'll act like a snow plow so that the concrete tends not to go down into the drain. And you can see how easy that is. Just like that. And notice, as I pat the concrete, you can see all the stones here. Look over here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to drive those stones a little deeper into the concrete mix so that we just have sand and Portland cement at the top. And by patting it like that, it achieves that goal. But you can see the concrete's pretty wet and it's very plastic and it's coming over onto the drain. You've got to make sure it doesn't do that because, you know, you won't be able to get the drain off. If you make a mistake and have too much concrete, over that steel part of the drain, you'll never be able to lift this up. So you've got to be checking that all the time. And as the concrete starts to get a little harder, it's going to be easier to scrape that off of there. So right now it's kind of wet. It's, 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 it's okay, but you know, in another hour or so, it's going to be really easy to uh, form. So now the job is I'm going to put the rest of the concrete around. I'm going to get it nice and smooth with this little block of wood, and we'll show you what that looks like as I'm finishing that up. I've got all the concrete in place around the trench drain, and I want to talk a little bit about concrete and working with it. It's really kind of important. I want to show you something. I made the concrete a little wet on purpose so that I could um, demonstrate this to you, and I made sure that I purchased high-strength concrete that has more Portland cement in it so that uh, it's not going to cause a problem. So look at this. <clears throat> So right here, look how, look how fluid and how the concrete moves around with my finger. So it's very, very plastic right now, and it's too wet to work with. It's too wet to try to finish. You just have to kind of screed it and get it close. And then as the concrete starts to hydrate, you know, the hydration chemical reaction happens where the Portland cement right now is growing trillions and trillions of little tiny microcrystals, that's what makes the concrete go from the liquid or plastic state to the hard state. Well, as it starts to get harder, then I'm going to be able to take a small little piece of wood like this and work the concrete and get a really nice finish. Now, you may wonder why I'm not using a steel trowel, you know, a big old tool like you see concrete finishers use. Believe it or not, little pieces of wood like this, they actually make wood floats. They work really, really well. And this is such a small area that it, that trowel, the big trowel, would be just too much tool. So believe it or not, just a little block of wood will work great in a situation like this. And you'll see that as we start to swirl it around once the concrete gets harder. So you probably have a little block of wood around your house like this. You don't need to go out and buy an expensive trowel and it's going to put on a really, really good finish. The concrete's in. It's getting harder by the minute. And I just wanted to show you the technique of how you can use the little block of wood like this to get a nice sandy finish on your concrete. Watch this. So you can see the concrete's here. It's a light touch. I'm just letting it float over the concrete and I'm just swirling it around and it, it just you can see how it looks that's a nice finish right there that's all it has to be you don't have to do much more than that and it'll end up just looking gorgeous it's that simple 
One little tip, make sure you get all the concrete off at the edge of the metal drain because you want to be able to pull this out, you know, after the fact. And if you make a mistake and get a lot of the cement paste, you know, or the concrete on top of that, it's going to look really ugly when you pull it out and it could chip the concrete. So make sure you do that. The next video is going to show this thing just about done because we have to wait until the concrete gets hard and we can pull the form out the next day so that we can put the blacktop patch in right here. Look down here. This area, this side of the form, is going to get blacktop patch. But I can't do that until we get the form out of the way. So we're going to show that next. And then you'll basically see the trench drain finished and uh, ready to go. And we'll be waiting for the next storm. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.